What's up, beautiful? So, today we're doing some hair color again because guess what? I kind of hate my hair. I'm not gonna lie. It's like fun, but like it obviously, <laughs> I've been through a lot with it lately. After that Sprite video, kind of regretted the yellow a lot. It just wasn't my vibe and didn't look with my skin tone, I feel like. So I did it blue on that side. So now this side is, where is it? This side's blue. This side's like a mint green now. And I think that it's just not me. Um, and I really just want to be light again and have like a pastel moment. And you guys always ask me, how do I change my hair color so often and not damage it? So I'm going to bring in Robert again. He's back for more. It's only been like a, what, a week? A week. <laughs> Hi, darling. He's back again. Welcome, honey. Thanks for so coming. So happy to be here. <laughs> And yes, we are dating now, so thank you guys so much. The marriage is in the works. For that recommendation. You know. So, Robert and I were consulting earlier. We're like, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna remove this the best way possible? We're gonna get all of mm -hmm. this out. Mm -hmm. So, we're mm -hmm. gonna use the beautiful Goldwell. Oh, what is this? What is this? We're gonna use blonding cream today. So go well. Yeah. Has so blonding cream. Mm -hmm. We both love blonding cream because Amazing. it is a basically a high lift color, but it doesn't have any pigment in it. So all it's gonna do is lift your hair and not deposit any color. And get rid of all of this. Yeah. And it's gonna be gentle enough that it's not quite bleach and it's not gonna break all my hair off because my hair's been through a lot. The ringer, honey. We're gonna do a little trim today too. Yeah. Possibly the big haircut. A bowl cut maybe. I think a bowl cut. I don't know. I'm just like. I'm just like bored. Yeah. You know? We're gonna spice it up a little bit. All right. <laughs> Anyways, you guys probably don't shit, so why don't we just get started? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get right let's into it. Let's do a mixed up. A little mixed up. A little on the floor. So it's two to one mixing ratio. So yeah. we're gonna be doing two parts. I love this part. Blonde and cream. Oh my god. We're gonna do forty mils of blonding cream and then 20 of silk lift 30 volume and plop it in there so basically i'm doing all this because well first of all i hit my hair but second of all i'm going to coachelle's coachelle's so trying to do a good look for that um because like apparently that's like a thing you know all so i've been preparing my look because like the looks are gonna come you're not gonna know what to do with yourself it's gonna be a full caring pin a caring pin mm. Messing my boots. So luckily I don't really have any roots yet. So we're not really worried about like applying it on the root. Otherwise I would definitely avoid your roots if you're gonna do this because it does lighten your natural hair color too. Um, we're gonna work fast. It does lighten pretty fast. We don't want this sitting on my hair because my hair is already dry. Is it lightening at all? Hmm? Yeah, it's happening. Is it? Yeah, it's happening. So this is why we have to move so fast because she she's- She is going up. She is happening, honey. <laughs> This color is lifting right out. I feel like it's gonna be really blonde. I'm not gonna wanna. I'm not gonna wanna color it. It's gonna be like the same as last time when uh -huh. we got you such a pretty blonde. I'm scared to color it again. Well, the good thing about doing pastel, it'll come right out. A lot of people ask me like how to make their color last longer, like when they do fashion colors and stuff. The point of fashion colors is that you can change them all the time and like mm -hmm. you really want it to be permanent. Like they're not made to be permanent and they always wash out pretty fast. But for me, it's like you can't really do anything about it washing out. Just, I mean, don't wash your hair as much, but like, or have fun. If you want to keep them lasting longer, use like um, a conditioner instead of an actual shampoo. Right. So it's like getting all the dirt and the sweat and the oils out, but it's not anything that's going to lather. Right. Or you could also mix a little bit of your color in with your conditioner. conditioner. Yeah. So that every time you wash it, you're getting a little bit of that pigment in your hair. Refreshing it. Refreshing it. It's like a refreshing one. Yeah, a refreshing one. Are you dating anybody, Robert? No, actually. She's happily single. When was your last boyfriend, baby? Um, Do you want to date? Seven months ago or something like that. Should we date? Should we? I thought we were dating. Are you cheating on me? <laughs> Listen. Are you cheating on me? It was literally one time. How dare you? Can you just finish my hair, please? No. I gotta go. <laughs> baby. Just kidding. She'll break <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm gonna cut your allowance. No, don't take away my mini. <laughs> I'm such an extrovert that like, I literally just love to talk to people I'm all the fucking not. time. See, I think that's my downfall of being a hairdresser. I'm such an introvert. I'm so shy naturally. Yeah. One of the like bi biggest compliments that I think I've gotten recently was that people feel so at home in my chair. In, in that like, 
in my arms. Yeah, no, I feel that you're very friendly and open. It's like I'm very comfortable with that. Oh god, yeah, I love it. Guys, okay, so I just was at BeautyCon. I met a lot of you, and I just like every time I go to events, I remember how much of an introvert I am, and like I do love you know being in the spotlight a little bit, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like I get so nervous, and like I want to show you guys I'm actually cool in real life, and I don't know. I just like overthink everything, and it's like a lot of pressure. You're like meeting people that you know watch you online and you know I just want to impress and be like nice and I put so much pressure on myself and then I just like freak out the whole time so if you ever see me at events just know that I'm freaking out the entire time and trying to act cool <laughs> you really are kind of a cool girl though <laughs> like what way I don't know I just like always love your energy and yeah. your vibe and everything it's so nice yeah thank you baby yeah I'm a cool girl I see if you hear that she's guys. a cool girl I wish I could do like a really good share impression. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I don't even know what it's like <laughs> song. Like give me give, give me a song. I will be there for you. What is that song? What the <laughs> was that? Do you believe in love? That's what I was trying to say. Oh my god, that was nowhere near it. <laughs> do you believe in love after love? <laughs> Should we make the thumbnail like uh, someone's kissing? Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a watched moment. Probably about 10, 15 minutes, it should be like all gone. Mm -hmm. And usually with blonde and cream, it's still gonna like look dark in your hair, but then when you shampoo it, it all like gets released from the cuticle. So <sighs> wish us luck. Hopefully I come back here in 15 minutes with white hair. Okay, I'll see you later. So this, we just shampooed it and we're getting there. <laughs> it is not, quite blonde yet. And I don't know if we're really gonna get to blonde today, but we're gonna work towards it and make sure my hair doesn't fall off and make sure we still keep the integrity of my hair. We just did a deep conditioning treatment with Olaplex and now we're ready for more. It's not like falling off. Robert, you wanna come on? And we're just gonna do the same process over again, but this time we're gonna avoid my roots. And honestly, you should avoid your roots always if you have a sensitive scalp. I break the rules sometimes, but you should not put it on your scalp. And I didn't tell you it was okay if anybody asked. So we're just gonna reapply to the dark blue first and then work our way over. After the dark blue lightens a little bit, we're gonna then work over to the kind of mint green section. They might not be blonde, but hopefully we can just match them a little bit more. If you could have one accent, like be from somewhere with a really cool accent, where would you choose? America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> love that for you. All right, so, so we finished. All done. We're gonna wash this. Another 10 minutes, rinse it out, do an Olaplex treatment. Then we'll be back. And then we're gonna figure out what to do next because it probably will still be a little bit blue. Just a little. We'll see you then. Bye. So what we're doing is <laughs> my hair is porous, obviously, because we just bleached the crap out of it and took out all that blue. So now we're trying to just match both of the sides because this one has a little bit more blue pigment in it than this one. This one's a little more yellow. So we're just kind of adding like a, a really light dusting of silver over all of it, just to even out the tones. And so what do we mix up? So we used Overtones Pastel Silver and then their amazing conditioner, The Remedy, to sheer out the pastel silver not sponsored thanks not sponsored have been sponsored by them but not today and yes we're starting at the root first <laughs> oh yeah because his ends are very porous and we don't want the color sucking up on the ends first mm -hmm. and being too dark yeah so a lot of you guys last video were very annoyed that we started the root because i always say don't start at the roots so when you're doing a version of color application which we're not doing today you don't start at the roots because the roots have heat coming from your scalp and it lightens the fastest but otherwise if you're doing a root touch up you do the roots honey so a lot of you guys were confused about that i just wanted to clear that up and also a lot of you were saying brad don't you hate 40 volume like why are you using 40 volume like you're so phony girl i have nothing against 40 volume it's just the way 
people use it in their at-home videos is not correct and they're gonna burn their hair off and I see people using it over already bleached like nearly white hair and it's just not okay. Why? 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 <laughs> oh my god, that just like creates spaghetti. And also in my last video, I was using Olaplex with 40 volume and Olaplex brings down the developer one level. I'm so pretty as a blonde. You're so pretty as a blonde. Can you like it? Tell me how it tastes. Did you like it? No. <laughs> lick it. For the camera. Do a little lick for the girls. Minty. <laughs> And we're done. And now we're gonna wait. Cook. Another 10 minutes. Ooh, and it's looking good, honey. She's looking fierce. I'll see you then. We're back and we're blonde. We're a little silver. That's okay. It's a corrective color, you guys. So it's never gonna be absolutely flawless perfect, but it's pretty damn close. And it's still wet, so it's gonna be a lot lighter when it's dry. But we're gonna first do the haircut. We're gonna cut a lot off. And we're gonna give me a whole new look once whole again. Whole new look. For the, yes! for the third time in the past week. week. I'm bipolar. <laughs> I feel like. I love cutting your hair. You know how you have those people who you just like enjoy cutting their hair? You got, you have one of those heads of hair. It just like lays. Yeah, she does what I want her to. And straight. What made you pick color over? Um, Cutting. And like I like the art, like it feels very artsy to me. Mm -hmm. I like the transformative factor of it. Same. Like you can really change somebody. With cut, it's like yeah, you can give somebody like from long hair to a bob, but it's like not as crazy as making somebody platinum blonde from like black hair. Right. Like you really change the people's lives. Color. Let's just thrive as a blonde. What do you have? What kind of advice do you have for kids that are in hair school right now? who are trying to do what we do. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. Like everyone always kind of feels defeated at one point, and you have to take that feeling of defeatment. And is that a word, defeatment? Mm, probably not. Probably not. Like, Alexa, <laughs> defeatment definition. Can you use it in a sentence? No, no, no. dumb. <laughs> that is not a real word. No, but seriously, you just take that feeling of defeat and you have to kind of like use it to- Oh, she said something. Please try again later. Okay. You have to take that feeling of defeat and really like let it light a fire under your ass. It's not for the weak, you know? So you just gotta keep going and hairstyling world can be very brutal. But also like with school, it's like, yeah, just learn the basics, girl. People really try and go to like unbelievable schools, but I don't think it's super important to go to a great hairdressing school. They seriously only teach you enough to pass the state board. Mm -hmm. And once you, get out of hair school, you have your license. That's when you need to find a very reputable salon to assist at. And mm -hmm. then that's really when you're gonna learn like the tricks of the trade and like learn rules that you can break and what rules you shouldn't break and really gain a lot of valuable knowledge. Mm -hmm. Life ain't easy, no it's not. Life ain't easy. You know that song? Who sings it? <clears throat> Rad Mondo. Oh, it's an original. Oh, it's by Rad Mondo. Rad Mondo. She looks gorgeous. You look. <laughs> she looks amazing already, and it's wet. Like so much better. Right. So much better. Let okay, go, let me go dry. Let's dry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to break it to you, but we've definitely come to the conclusion that Brad is never doing colors ever again. She is a blonde, she was born a blonde, she will forever be a blonde. Okay? Great. I mean. Hello. Wow. It's Marilyn Monroe. Oh. Thank you, Robertina, for making my blonde dreams come true again. You're so welcome. <laughs> Do you want to just like stare at it? Yeah. We're just gonna look at the monitor for a little bit, guys. And back at the camera, and back at the monitor. <laughs> just appreciate this. Look at how 
fucking good he looks. Okay, listen. I'm dead. So I'm it's dead. pretty much nearly perfection, but also you guys, it's a huge corrective process. So the more I wash it, the more I live with it, it's gonna become more and more blonde and perfect. And this, a little bit of gray, it's gonna fade out and it's gonna look amazing. And every time we fix it from now on, it's gonna look more and more perfect. Yes. And that is how color corrections work. So mm -hmm. if you guys have some kind of dark color or like blue, you wanna get out of your hair, just remember it's, it's a color correction. It's so a process. It's a process. And if you go to a hair stylist, it might not be perfect the first time. So so don't have extremely high expectations when you're doing a color correction. A color correction. Realistic expectations are always key. You have to just realize that there are stages that you're gonna have to go through. There are huge processes that you're gonna have to go through. Your hair is going to be a really, really big investment. And so that was my process of getting that dark blue out of my hair. And I can't believe it honestly came out this good. My hair feels amazing. We took good care of it. So that's also really important to just take care of your hair as you're lightening it. and Healthy, the, happy hair. Yep, and use the proper products mm -hmm. to hydrate in between processes and make sure your ends always have oil in them and so on. So that is how I got my hair back to platinum from blue and green. So Robertina, thank you so much. Thank you, baby. You're really my life. Um, make sure you guys follow Robertina on Instagram. He does amazing hair. And also he works at Heroin Salon in New York City. So the website will be linked below also. So make sure you book with Robert. He's amazing and super fun to hang out with. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Thanks, Don't forget guys. to live your extra life. Extra. And I will see you all next time. Peace. <laughs>